friends today i am going to present the topic of structure of dna friends i will try to make you understand in a very simple and brief manner hope you will understand it so let's start the session friends let's take a brief review about the dna what is dna dna is basically a specific ordered sequence of deoxyribonucleotides what is a deoxyribonucleotide we will study in the latter slide Friends, these specific sequence of deoxyribonucleotides determines the genetic information of human beings or you can say of human genetic elements that is the gene. Friends, some genes encode for proteins, other genes encode for ribonucleic acids. Those genes which encode for proteins are called structural genes. And the, these structural genes are decoded by two successive processes. Number one is the transcription, that is the RNA synthesis. Another is the translation, that is the protein synthesis. Now have a look about for the nucleotide. Nucleotide is basically composed of three parts. Number one, that's the phosphate group. Friends, you can see in this picture that phosphate group is composed of one phosphorus and which is attached with four oxygen atoms. Another is a five carbon sugar, or you can say that's the pentose sugar. Friends, as this sugar contains the five carbons, that's why it is called the five carbon sugar or the pentose sugar. You can see carbon prime one carbon, two prime carbon, three prime carbon, four prime carbon, and that's that's the five prime carbon. Friends, it is called the deoxyribose sugar because in this scenario it only passes hydroxyl group at the three prime carbon. While in the ribose sugar, hydroxyl group is present both at the two prime carbon as well as at the three prime carbon. Friends, third part is the organic base. There are four types of organic bases, cytosine, thiamine, adenine, and guanine. At one time, nucleotide possess only one type of organic base. Friends, adenine and guanine are two cyclic structures. These are called purine bases, while the cytosine and thiamine are possess one cyclic structure that it is called pyrimidine base. Friends, this is a complete structure of a nucleotide. In this way, these nucleotides attached to one another and form a specific ordered sequence of deoxyribonucleotides. This is called a DNA. Friends, now we have to see that at what carbon atom phosphate group is attached in the same way at what carbon atom nitrogen base gets attached to the pentose sugar. You can see over here that the prime carbon, prime one carbon of the pentose sugar, the base is attached, while the at five prime carbon phosphate group is attached. Now, see a complete strain of a DNA. Friends, there are three molecules of a nucleotide. This is a one nucleotide, this is a two nucleotide, and come lead three nucleotide how these nucleotides attach to another let's have a look in this slide friends phosphate group one oxygen atom of the phosphate group is attached to the five prime carbon of the one pentose sugar at the same time another oxygen atom of the phosphate group is attached to the three prime carbon of another nucleotide in this way a chain is formed you can see over here this phosphate group is attached at one side to the three prime carbon while this another oxygen atom of the phosphate group is attached to the five prime carbon of the pentose sugar in this way a continuous chain of a specific sequence of deoxyribonucleotides is formed and this is termed as dna friends Hope you like this session and understand the structure of DNA clearly. Inshallah, I will explain what's an incorrect model in my next video. So, if you have if you have any query, then please comment in the comment box. I will resolve your queries. We'll meet in my next video. Up till then, Allah Hafiz.